This is the Furness K2440 steam locomotive, also known as the largest Seagull, which was in service between 1896 and 1931, first under Furness Railways and later under the LMS. It ran between Whitehaven and Barrow in Furness in Cumbria. Before we talk about supplies, I just want to have a quick word about livery. The Furness K2 was Indian red. The closest colour I can find to that in Minecraft is red terracotta, and that's probably a bit too light, but it's this sort of colour. The trouble with that is red terracotta has no stairs, no slabs. So you could make it out of that and then mix in red nether brick or acacia if you don't mind an engine that is a mix of colours. The other options are you could make the whole thing out of acacia because you've got stairs and slabs for that or you could make it out of red nether brick. I'm going with the red nether brick. So that said, to make the Furness K2 engine you'll need the following. It's listed on screen, it's also shown in my inventory. Please be aware that particularly with the higher numbers they may be out by one or two blocks as it's just taken from me counting from making the engine. I do my best. And don't forget, waste block of your choice. I prefer dirt. To begin, place the waste block of your choice on your track and on top of it, black concrete, one, two, three remove the waste block. Come around to the back and from the middle of the black concrete we're going to go back 17 with grey or brown terracotta. One, two, three, four and now one, two, three. Come back around to the front we're going to make buffers. At the sides of the black concrete bar we're going to place pistons on their sides, either side, Underneath a lever, one at each end, flip them open. Buffers. I get these from Crafty Fox. There's a link to his channel in the description. Now a crimson fence in the middle and a chain underneath. Grab your iron bars, one, two to the left of the crimson fence and one, two on top of the right piston. And now grab some black carpet and one, two, three on top of the black concrete. Next we're going to make wheels. Come to the front of your locomotive and against this first grey terracotta, a right way up nether brick stair. Underneath that, an upside down nether brick stair and then behind it, upside down right way up nether brick stairs. It should form a cross shape. Pretend it's a circle. That's our first wheel. Now we're going to leave a gap of two and on the next one we're going to make a wheel exactly the same. There we go. Now leave another gap of two and on the third place a nether brick block. An upside down nether brick stair under it, a nether brick block behind that stair and an upside down nether brick stair behind the block. Jump up onto it, nether brick block, a, a red nether brick wall between the blocks, a nether brick on top of the wall and a nether brick stair behind the block. So we end up with something like this. Yes, there should be a gap. Now leave another gap of two and we're going to make a wheel that's very similar. except we're going to place nether brick stairs behind and in front of that middle nether brick block. So we end up with a wheel like this. So there's two large wheels, one of which has a piece out of the front. So repeat these four wheels on the other side. Now let's finish off the undercarriage. Between these two front wheels, upside down polished black stone brick stairs, against the front of each of the large wheels, a piece of blackstone wall and in this remaining gap between the large wheels an upside down polished stair. This is left as a gap. 
So do all that over the other side. Now come round the back and off this middle grey terracotta we're going to place one, two grindstones so they join like that. Connecting rods next. So come to this first large wheel and at the top edge of this upside down nether brick stair an iron trapdoor. Place five more behind it, one, two, three, four, five, to bring us to the first upside down nether brick stair at the second wheel. That's our connecting rod. Make another one on the other side. Right, now come to the front of the locomotive. Grab blackstone slabs and we're going to place one, two, three, four, five. Do a second row of five, exactly the same behind it. And now on each outer edge, one, two, one, two. Should look like that. Now place one, two polished black stone bricks like that. Two polished black stone brick stairs right way up either side. And at the front here, one, two, three polished black stone brick blocks. Put one, two either side of the middle one and surround it by polished black stone brick stairs. Right way up and upside down. And a lever in the middle block and flick it down. Come to the top Place a polished black stone brick block in between the last two stairs and on top of that block one, two black stone walls and a polished black stone pressure plate on top for a funnel. Now grab your black stone slabs. Come to behind the front of the boiler we've just made and on the terracotta place one, two, three, four, five black stone slabs. Grab your red nether brick slabs and place five on either side of the blackstone slabs. Place a red nether brick block in the middle between the two wheels. Now continuing with red nether brick blocks, come to behind the front of the boiler and from here we're going to run ten red nether brick blocks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do the same off this top middle one and off the middle one on the side. Once you've done that, come to the inside. You can either light up this part of the boiler or you can fill it with waste blocks or you can just leave it empty if you don't mind mobs hitching a lift. And now place one, two, three, four, five red nether brick blocks. Come to the top, run red nether brick stairs right the way along either side at the top. Come underneath and put five upside down on each side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Should look like that. Now run red nether brick blocks right the way along to the end, so that should be another five on each side. Put red nether brick blocks between the wheels. And again, light or fill the space inside. Now we're going to put the dome on. So come to the top, behind the funnel, one, two, three and a red nether brick block on the fourth, a red nether brick slab on top. Now leave a gap of five, one, two, three, four, five, and on the last block, a bell. Time for the wheel arches. Come to the front behind this slab, one, two, three red nether brick slabs, a red nether brick stair, one, two, three red nether brick blocks with a stair behind it, another stair facing towards that stair, and one, two, three, 
four, five red nether brick blocks. That should bring you level with this back terracotta bar. Now with slabs again, place one red nether brick slab at the front of this bar of five and then one, two, three on the other wheel arch. Come to the very front of the train and behind the first piston, a red nether brick slab, an upside down red nether brick stair, leave a gap of two, two red nether brick slabs, an upside down stair facing outwards and a slab underneath. Come to the end, in this gap after the wheel, an upside down stair, then two more at 90 degrees and under these last two, two nether brick slabs. Repeat all this round the other side. Time for the cab. Behind this last slab we're going to place one, two, three, four red nether brick blocks, four more behind and one, two behind those. Red nether brick stair and a slab. Repeat over here. Now come to what will be the inside of the cab and place a red nether brick block against the bell, one below it and the blast furnace below that. Red nether brick blocks either side of the blast furnace and then we're going to place a right way up and upside down red nether brick stair either side of the central column. That gives us nice little windows so we can look out the length of the engine. Now fill in this space with three nether brick slabs and then do two rows of five behind it. And top the whole roof with black carpet. Now fill the space under the blast furnace with waste blocks, then put three red nether bricks in front. Now place three red nether bricks in the next row and cover the rest of the floor with red nether brick slabs. Now item frame, compass for pressure gauge, a lever, flick it up or down, doesn't matter, and a lantern. A few more details to finish off our engine, then we'll move to the tender. On top of this first stair of the front wheel arch, an end rod. Directly above that, a dark oak sign. And I'm going to put furnace and then an engine number and railway. That doesn't show up so well, so some yellow dye for gold lettering. Next grab end rods and in line with this sign against the cab, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the best I can do to simulate the pipes that run along the side of the boiler. We're going to do this on the other side, of course. And now two iron bars either side of the cab entrance red carpet along the top of the red nether brick for spawn proofing and a lantern at the front in front of the funnel. That's the engine done, now for the tender. We start the tender directly behind this second grindstone, so one, two, three brown or grey terracotta and if you're not happy with this you can always turn it around. It's entirely up to you. Now come round behind and from this middle terracotta we're going to run 12 more blocks. 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12 and then 1, 2 and 3. And at the back here we're going to place buffers again, only this time we're placing the levers on the sides. And a grindstone in the middle for a coupling. Come round to the front, we're going to make wheels, leave a gap of 1 and make a small wheel just as you did on the locomotive. So four nether brick stairs upside down right way up. Leave a gap of two, make another wheel and one more gap of two and a third wheel. 
which should leave you with a gap of one at the end. Make another set of wheels on the other side of the tender. Now put hoppers going into each of the right way upstairs on all the wheels. So like that. Do that for both sides. Then place an upside down red nether brick stair between the front of the tender and the first wheel. And then two between each set of wheels facing each other. So like that. And upside down at the end. Now come back to the front and off this terracotta bar an upside down red nether brick stair and one, two red nether brick slabs. On the front wheel at the back place a waste block and two red nether brick slabs, remove the block, repeat that again and we're going to place a red nether brick slab under the piston at the back and one next to it. It should look like that. You know what you have to do next, round the other side. Now come to the front of the tender. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five red nether brick slabs and a red nether brick block and a red nether brick wall on top of the block. And now starting level with our wall and block, run red nether brick blocks all the way down each side and right the way along the back and put a second row on top of that. You can place one or more waste blocks on top of that row of bricks and then in front of them upside down red nether brick stairs right the way around the whole tender. When you come back around to the front stop with the stairs and switch to nether brick slabs one two three four five and top your inner wall with nether brick slabs all the way around. Top all the upside down stairs with red carpet to spawn proof and two iron bars either side. Now come onto your tender, come to the back, leave a gap of three, one, two, three, and on the fourth run a row of slabs, drop down and fill this with red nether bricks. Put a light inside here or fill it and either way top the whole section with slabs. Now to finish off the tender you've got a choice. I have not included a block count for this because it's entirely up to you as to what you want to do with it. You could leave the tender empty and just fill in the entire bottom floor with red nether brick slabs or you can fill it with some sort of coal or coal substitute. So blocks of coal or if you want something that looks a bit looser you could use blackstone and you can mix and match that with slabs and stairs and any sections that may be left spawnable just pop a piece of carpet on them and that's your tender. You can finish it off if you want with some banners with letters an F and an R if you want this as furnace railways still or maybe LMS or whatever you've called your rail line. There's our furnace K2 440 locomotive and tender. If you want some more tutorials for me of more engines there's end cards on the screen now with a complete playlist. Big thanks to Ikhlil Hakimi for suggesting this splendid engine.